Okay, let's talk about variable types. So when you declare a variable, uh, x, then here, so here I am declaring the variable x to be an integer, uh, and that is its type. So once I do that, we saw, we can put the number four in the variable, and then uh, we can print it out. We run this program, and it prints out the number four. So if I try to put, say, 4.5 in the variable x, I'm going to get an error because 4.5 is not an integer. Um, it's double. Uh, and you see the error is uh, a type mismatch error. So it's a type mismatch because the Java compiler, or Eclipse in this case, it sees the 4.5, says, oh, that's a double. And it sees that x is an integer, and you can't do that. So one way we can have different types. So I can have a double variable d and set that to 4.5. And you see that works. So d is now 4.5. I can print out d and run that. And it prints out the number 4.5. I can then assign, uh, say, d. What if I try to do that? D equals X. What's it going to print out? And well, let's see. First, X gets 4, then D gets 4.5, then X goes into D. So that means that now D is going to be equal to 4. So this is going to print out 4. Run that, and you see it prints out, actually, it prints out 4.0. And it didn't print out 4, the integer, but print out 4, the double. Um, so we can take a variable x, and, which is an integer, and put it inside a double. Now, can we do this the other way around? Uh, can we take a d into x? Uh, nope. You see, what happens here is uh, we're getting an error, and there's going to be a type mismatch error. It says. I cannot convert from a double to an integer. Uh, Java does not do that automatically, right? Uh, and uh, if you select here, we can automatically cast that to an integer. So what we're doing here is um, this parentheses int parentheses. What that does is it take turns the variable d, which is a double, takes the value uh, four point five truncates it so it gets rid of the 0.5 part and returns the integer part of it which is just a number four and then that gets put into x so when we print out x here uh, i change that to x just to make it different i'm going to just put this make x9 so you can see x starts out nine starts out as nine then d is 4.5, then we put d in x, but only the integer part of it, and we print out x. So that should be print out 4. And you can see, printed out the number 4. So this is called typecasting. Right? So typecasting is when we take a variable from one type, uh, in this case, double, and we change it into another type, in this case, integer. So we took a variable, which was d. Uh, its value was a double, uh, which means you know it has a fractional part. And uh, we turned it into an integer. In doing so, uh, we lose information, right? So we lost the 0.5 part. So x is only 4. It's not 4.5, because it cannot be 4.5. x is an integer. Uh, so we do lose information sometimes when we do typecasting. Uh, we can, if we did something, if we did it the other way, let me go here, just do a, a, a new one. So I'm going to go int y is 3, and then a double uh, b is uh, 4.2, and then I'm going to put the uh, let's say b is y 
Remember we saw that that worked before. Yeah, I'll print out B. So we're taking the number three and we're putting it in at Y and then we're putting that number into B. So B will have the number three. And we print it out. And you can see it's B. It's 3.0 because it is a double. Uh, to be more specific, what, what's ha actually happening here is this. Uh, the Java compiler, when it sees that, uh, is, do is doing some automatic, uh, automatic typecasting. Um, so this is what it looked like, actually. Um, so it starts out like this. The compiler sees that and says, mm, that's a Y. That's an integer. Uh, that really should be a double. So I'm going to put this right in there. And now that's going to convert it to a double. Now you never see that, but that, that's what happens when the program gets compiled. The integer turns into a double automatically. And so we don't need to put that. The reason we can do that is because there is no data loss. Um, no information is lost, right? So because 3 and 3.0 are exactly the same number, uh, no information is lost, so we can do that. Okay, so uh, there's integers and doubles, and there are also other types. Uh, so a char character is another type, and a character is just one character, one letter, or one number, like that. Uh, and you can uh, print it out. So if I print that, if I run that, it's going to print D, the letter D, right? And there's a variable C. The variable C holds the value D. And we can also put, you know, special characters there, like the star symbol. It's going to print that out. Uh, so that's a character type. Um, and as you might imagine, if you try to you know, have variable Y equals C, uh, well, you might imagine that that's not going to work. That actually is going to work uh, because it's just going to take the integer value of that character and put that into Y, um, which in this case is 42. For example, the letter, capital letter A is 65. So it's just going to take the, the value, the, the ASCII value, or the Unicode value, in this case they're both the same, of that letter and put that in in the variable y. Uh, again, it's basically just doing that automatically. And uh, so we can add you know numbers to that. That also works, of course. Multiply and so forth. Um, There's another, uh, generally we don't use the character data type. What we use is the string data type. Right? So, hello there. Uh, we can set S to be the string hello there. And we can print out S. Um, and we run that. And we can now print the whole string hello there. You can see the big difference here is the character uses the single quote. And the string uses double quotes. Right. So if you try to do that, put a single quote there, you're going to get an error, right? A string, when you have a literal, a string literal, like this one, so it's literally a string and needs to be in within double quotes. Again, it's one of those syntax issues that you need to remember. So the characters are within single quotes and strings within double quotes. We mostly, most of the time, we use a string. Um, so here's another idea. So let's say we have a string s and we're going to add the number 55 to it. What's that going to print out? So it's hello there plus 55. Uh, well, we can run that and you see what it does is it just appends. So Java is pretty smart, you know, it's called about what it does. So when it sees this plus sign with the string, uh, it doesn't try to add it like it would have done with a character. It just appends that and turns you know, hello there into hello there 55. Uh, you can see it'd be better with a space there. So I'm going to add a space there, run it, and all of that. 
Says, hello there, Space 55. 